Here's the deal besties. I do not feel the best about myself right now. Inside, outside, everything. So I've decided to take matters into my own hands and have a little glow up slash self care day. Doing like my little no makeup makeup look. It's not really makeup. I'm just curling my lashes and putting a tinted lip balm on. You know when you wake up and you just feel terrible about yourself? Like you just feel and look ugly? That's how I've been feeling. Not just today but like for the past few days. But we're gonna fix that. We're gonna do a little glow up slash self care day and of course I had to bring you guys with me because y'all are my girls. Like y'all are literally my besties and we're gonna do this together. First things first, let's change into an actual outfit because we're about to go to Sephora. This is the outfit I'm wearing. I'm also gonna throw on this jacket. This is the final outfit. Oh, purse. Luckily, I have purse. My black purse because it already has everything in here and it matches with everything. So, this is the outfit. Let's go do some retail therapy. We're in the Sephora parking lot right now. I would have recorded the drive there, but unfortunately, I don't have a car tripod. It broke. The reason why I even came to Sephora is because I have a few things that I want to exchange and return. So basically, it's free money and I'm using girl math. The money is already spent. I'm just going to exchange things for other things that I want. And yeah, I could probably save money and get my money back, but what's the fun in that? Let me just stop explaining myself. Let's go. This is what I came for. I literally want both of them, but I'm leaning towards this one because I feel like I'll use it more. We're out of Sephora. Why was that the most stressful experience? Like, I felt like they thought I was stealing because I already had a Sephora bag, but I'm like, I'm just returning things, I swear. I'm just a girl wanting to return things. I swear I got followed by like three different employees the whole time, which I get, it's just part of their job to be cautious and like actually catch people stealing, but I wasn't stealing. I was just looking at makeup, trying to make an exchange. Or maybe they just didn't want me to record in the store. I don't know, whatever it was, I didn't like it. It was like super stressful. I wanted to get out of there ASAP, but we ended up making the returns. So here's what I got. Here's a little mini Sephora haul. Okay, first things first, if you guys watched my last vlog, you guys would know that I got this in the shade Persimmon. I tried it on and I didn't really like the color on me. I mean, it's a pretty color. Color. It's just not something that I would go for normally. So I just exchanged the same lip gloss for a different shade And this is in the shade cocoa but next we have the Huda Beauty loose powder in the shade peach pie And here's the backstory with this one So basically I came like last week with my boyfriend to Sephora and they had these powders in stock and they never have them in stock like, If you know anything about the makeup world, you know that Huda Beauty powders are always sold out So when I saw that they had them in stock, I had to get them But at the time I was really into my pink powder, which I still love, don't get me wrong, I still love it So I got the big version of the cherry blossom cake, but I also got the small version of the peach pie I tried the peach pie powder and I fell in love with it and I regretted so badly getting the mini version of it instead of the big one So I came to Sephora, returned the big version of the Blossom cake and got this one instead and then I thought why do I need another powder? So I returned the small peach pie powder for a lip liner This one is also something I really been wanting to try It's the makeup forever artist color pencil in the shade limitless brown Like I said, I am a brown lip girly I had a couple other things that were gifts But I didn't really like them because I've tried those products before and they didn't work for me But I didn't have the receipt for it So they let me just exchange it for a little gift card I could have used it right now But I'm just gonna save it for later whenever I really want to try something because then it's gonna be free I I actually do not know if any of what I just said makes sense because I feel like I just was talking and talking and talking like it was like word vomit but yeah that is my little Sephora haul retail therapy is so real because I already feel happier I know it's just instant gratification but I don't care these are products that will make me happy in the long run because I love doing my makeup like doing my makeup is also a form of therapy for me so that's how I'm justifying these purchases anyway time for more retail therapy I'm thinking let's go to Target to buy hair dye I'm recording on my phone because my camera is not picking up the lighting it's making me look really really dark. Look at how good my skin looks. Okay, okay Maybe we don't need a glow up. No, I'm just kidding. We do. We definitely do. We made it a target Let's go get our hair dye I'm not gonna really record in there either because I have social anxiety and I'm by myself and I'm not with my boyfriend Why do I look so short? I'm getting two of these because I have a lot of hair. I hope no one walks by. I said that as soon as someone walked by. Just so I'll be talking to myself. Candle shopping. I might get it. Scratch that. I'm in between these two. This one is Rainwater Lily. It gives me fresh girly vibes. This one is more masculine. Which is weird because the name is strawberry musk. I guess that makes sense. I'm gonna go with this one I just got out of Target and every time I'm sick I take one of these little juice shots. I'm not sick right now, but we could prevent that by taking them, right? They're by the brand so good for you um, Sponsor me if you want to I don't know and this one's supposed to give you energy I think I'm gonna go with this one just because I've never tried it. This is part of the self-care. Okay, I'm taking care of my body ready cheers that's actually really good. It tastes like orange juice, low-key. Did not taste the mango at all. Wait, 
now I taste the mango. The aftertaste is mango. It mostly tasted like orange juice and spinach, so I don't know. Try it if you want. I think it's good. Should we just take the other one for fun? This one's watermelon strawberry, and I kind of just want to take it just to give my body a little bit more vitamins. This one is vitamin C and D3. The other one, vitamins B6 and B12, whatever that means. I don't know. I just like taking them. Shot number two. Cheers. This one is so much better. I think the strawberry watermelon one is the one that I recommend the most just because it tastes the best. We are back home, except we're gonna have to put a little pause, just a tiny little pause on this self-care day slash glow up. Why, you may ask? I'm gonna go hang out with my boyfriend. More specifically, his family, because it is his brother's birthday. We're gonna go celebrate his brother's birthday. We're gonna have to do a little minor delay on the glow up. This whole little day is gonna be continued tomorrow. For me, it's a full day. For you guys, it's literally gonna be a second. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's the next morning. We're about to dye my hair. But first, I have press-ons on and I'm ripping them out. I don't want them to accidentally get dyed. I know you wear gloves when you dye your hair, but somehow I always end up getting dye everywhere. And I'm literally just using my mouth. Kind of gross, but oh well. I mean, not the most efficient way to do this, but it's fine. One hand down, other one to go. Look at how ugly my hands look without nails. I'm not even gonna lie, I got distracted for a few hours, but we're back. My nails are off. I changed into this t-shirt that I don't really care about. It's time to dye our hair. I'm gonna take off my jewelry because I also don't want to stain that. Look at how cute these little heart earrings are, which by the way, all my jewelry is from my small business, Shop in Aaliyah. I also changed into some sweatpants that I don't care about either. I'm not like really that nervous because it's just black. My hair is already dark. It's just not as dark as I want it to be. I'm going to be watching a movie while I do this because I physically cannot do anything if I don't have any background noise playing. It's either going to be... I just dropped some. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't really be talking too much while I do this because I just dropped some of the developer on the floor. Let me actually just shut up. I don't have to be yapping all the time. Wait, I should put gloves on. Me when he... I'm just kidding. That's gross. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. First one is done. Now we just need to do the other one. I probably shouldn't be doing this right next to my bed. Because you guys can't see, but my bed is right next to me. Here are both bottles. They're both mixed. I have a lot of hair, so that's why I do two. If these two don't cover all my hair, I don't know what I'm going to do because I didn't buy another one. I'm going to put my hair down real quick because obviously we can't dye my hair if it's in a ponytail. You guys are going to see how disgusting and oily it looks. I have not washed it in a full week. It's really Really just nasty, dirty, oily, disgusting, you name it, just a mess. But we're gonna dye it, we're gonna wash it, we're gonna style it, and it's gonna look 10 times prettier, so it's okay. I my hair halfway so that I could dye the bottom first and then the top. Remember when I went viral for having copper hair? And now I'm over here dyeing my hair black. But it's because, guys, when I went viral for having copper hair, I had already had it for, like, a year. So I was kind of tired of it. But I wanted to make that video for you guys because at the time, copper hair was really, really popular. So I was like, mm, let me make that video for them. I wasn't expecting to go viral for copper hair. I went viral on YouTube, on Twitter, on Pinterest, on TikTok just for copper hair. And now I have black hair. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do be missing it. Because I felt so pretty with copper hair, but at the same time, it's just so much maintenance. Like, if you have red hair, you know that it fades so easily. You have to dye it like, every month, and it's just, like, too much. I am so messy I dye my hair. But I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to record because I don't want to make a super big mess. I might just stop the video here and then come back when my hair is fully dyed or when I'm almost done. I literally started dyeing the last piece, and then I remembered I was gonna do it with you guys. So my bad. Luckily, it's not... As messy as I usually do it except you guys should see my floor there's hair dye all over it and we actually have a lot of hair dye left so I might just put that all over my hair just in case I missed any spots my hair is dyed I'm gonna put my hair up I'm done dyeing it I put a 30 minute timer on my phone so that we know when to wash this off and I'm so excited to wash it off because I'm gonna do an everything shower I'm gonna exfoliate I'm gonna shave I'm gonna wash my hair I'm gonna do my skincare in there everything the timer just went off but before I get in the shower I want to show you guys all the products that I'm gonna be using in there I'm using this pureology hydrating shampoo it's actually my sister's so if she's watching this hey she has the matching conditioner for this but since I just dyed my hair this is a color safety conditioner so I'm gonna use this one it's by Amika my body wash. I'm exfoliating my body with the scrub. I'm shaving and then I'll be washing my face with the road face wash. We're out of the shower. We're about to do my skincare together because self-care. Duh. But the first thing I'm gonna do is put my jewelry back on because I literally feel 
naked without my jewelry i haven't been wearing my nose piercing for like weeks now so i'm gonna put that in too hopefully my little nose piercing hole is not closed it kind of hurts though what the frick it's in you can see it's a cute little blue stud moving on to skincare tire 28 spray love this thing i rave about it so much on my tiktok if you follow me on tiktok you would know i'm obsessed with this product next we do a moisturizer this is the tower 28 moisturizer y'all i think i'm fully convinced that tower 28 is what cleared my skin up if you've been following me for years you would know that i used to struggle with acne really really bad especially as a teenager i'm 23 now and my skin has cleared up so much but even last year my skin was really bad until i started using tower 28 honestly i will never be switching them out of my routine i skip sunscreen i know that's really bad but i just haven't found a sunscreen that i'm in love with oh and by the way this is the kiehl's creamy eye treatment but as i was saying i just feel like every sunscreen that i've tried is gross like it makes me feel nasty it burns my eyes every single time and i just don't like it i hate the smell too so my last step is lip balm this is the summer friday's lip balm in the shade brown sugar it's nail time we're gonna put our nails back on just buffing them out so i could get any extra leftover glue that was left on my nails off before i put them on here's the little name of the seller that my boyfriend got them from this is the last nail look at how pretty I love them. They make me feel like such a girl. I don't know. And they're literally so me. Strawberry pink hearts like this is me in a nail. We're in my sister's room now because it's time to do our hair. Look at how much darker that looks. I feel so much better. But I came to my sister's room because she has a Dyson and I'm gonna style my hair with the Dyson. Duh. We're just gonna curl it really quick because I'm kind of in a rush. Y'all, I have somewhere to be at 6 and it's 4.50. My hair takes me not like a super long time but a long time but we're gonna try to make this quick because i also still have to do my makeup this is my favorite attachment to use for my curls when i do a straight blowout i use the round brush let's do this because i've got somewhere to be love first curl is done now let's do it for the rest of our hair i don't think i'm gonna be recording the full process i have a lot of hair so i'm trying to make this quick at this point i don't really care about making it look perfect i just want it to look at least a little bit presentable kind of wonky but it's fine i think the bottom section is done which was pretty quick so my goal is to be finished by like 5 30 that way i have 30 minutes to get my makeup done because i have to leave the house by six top section time i'm going pretty fast i usually take like an hour doing my hair hopefully i keep it at this pace the reason why it usually takes me so long to do my hair is because i actually do it neatly and organized like i do section by section but right now i'm just taking whatever hair I completely forgot to put in my hair oil. How? How did I forget? I even brought it from my room. And it's a heat protectant. I usually put in hair oil. This is the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil. I love it. I might just put it in after, but I usually put it in before. When it comes to my bangs, I like to separate them just so I could do them together with the rest of my bangs. So I'm not doing anything to my bangs yet, but we'll come back to them. Time for this side. We're actually going at a really good pace, guys. I'm proud of myself. I am literally sweating balls right now. My hair is basically done. I'm just gonna do my face framers with you guys. If I could get them off this bobby pin, that would be great. I'm gonna put the rest of my hair in a claw clip just so it could be out of the way. We're gonna switch this attachment to the round brush attachment. It's the one I like to use for my bangs. All right, let's take the rest of my hair down and shake it out. All right, here is the finished hair. Very voluminous, but I feel so pretty. So we finished right on time. I said I wanted to finish at 5.30, and it's 5.30. I'm just going to do my makeup real quick. I'm not going to record that because I'm literally rushing. Like, I'm trying to get out the door already. If you guys want to know what my makeup routine is, I just posted a video not too long ago. All you need to know about my makeup routine is in that video, so go watch it if you want. My makeup is done. I feel so much better. Let me show you guys my outfit really quick. Ignore the messy background. Again, not my room. It's my sister's room. My outfit, very cute very girly and i'm wearing my brown purse with it this brown purse to be exact i am running very late to where i'm supposed to be but it's okay because i'm recording for my girls okay like my girls need to see the glow up oh you're getting the shoes too is that look cute yes you're amazing look at my cameraman wow so handsome call me diego we did all the 
physical aspects of a self-care and glow up day so i'm gonna do a little self-care from the inside specifically for my mental health i have this journal right here that is completely empty and i've been waiting to use it so i was like why not use it with my girls first things first though we need to decorate it i mean she's cute she's pink clearly i love pink but she's a little plain so let's put some stickers on her i have this sticker that says i'm just a girl because i'm just a girl i always say that and i have yet to stick it on something and i'm thinking this might be the perfect journal to do that i'm actually obsessed with stickers like i have stickers on everything i even have stickers in my car like where the radio is i'm thinking in the middle is that centered i don't think it's centered and it's really gonna bother me i went ahead and fixed it so hopefully it's a little bit more centered now i kind of want to keep it pink and most of these stickers are not pink I'm thinking i'm just gonna keep it with one sticker for now until i buy more pink stickers i kind of also like the simplicity of it as well for now we're gonna keep it like this until further notice yeah i'm just gonna end my night by starting my new journal 